GLM has one of the most uh, accessible pricing plans if you are trying to code with an AI and they just released the GLM 4.6 model and this model is smarter than the previous one it has a larger context size so it is increasing to 200k and it has 128k for the output and uh, it has pretty good results in comparison with the previous one you see in here that it's actually beating Cloud Sonnet 4. Of course, Cloud Sonnet 4.5 has just been released. And in this video, I was thinking to give it a try. I already have a subscription. They're offering very affordable plans. If we're going to check in here, can start with a couple of bucks with their plan. And uh, I am currently on the Pro plan. And uh, this plan should be faster than uh, the one that it's light. I've already tested the light plan and uh, created a video with a comparison between Sonnet uh, 4.5 and GLN 4.5. And uh, in this video, I will gonna go and uh, do the same thing and test it to see the 4.6 and uh, how good it is. And uh, to do that, I am going to use the or terminal with Druid. I already have it customized in here and I've created an Astro project. Let's make this thing bigger so you can see what is happening like that. So I've uh, started the details in here. I have the Astro website with the basic things and I will just go in it to initiate the project. And then we're going to go and uh, see how fast it is and how well it does in creating an Astro website like the others that I already did before. Okay, and right now it uh, initiated the project and let me copy the prompt. Okay, and the prompt, it is the one uh, that is before. Okay, I've started it again because it was thinking to the previous thing to start the server, but I don't want it to start the server. Okay, these are the details. This is the plan that it's creating and right now it will go and start building on this plan. And right now I'm gonna use Warp and see how well it's working with Droid, the one from Factory AI. You can check the previous video to see more details on Droid if you want. But right now we see that in here, it started creating the details. You see the UI, it started adding the button, heading. Okay, sections, and I'm curious to see how well it will do. And how fast it is, and if it will have any hiccups. This is a New model has just been released. And I'm curious to see if the plants are actually useful in uh, creating an interesting website for us. So you see that it has quite a good uh, code in here. It also created the icons. So yeah, it's fast it's very fast okay so it's created a to do and it's just cooking right now so yeah this is one of the most affordable uh, plans out there for coding with ai with this 45 bucks for three months you are able to request a lot of uh, code to be written basically i don't think you will have any any limits if you are just casually coding and you can add this in any id and uh, that's why it's nice because you can uh, go and use it with your preferred id with, with preferred extension but right now i'm using it with droid to see how well it does. Right now you see that about two minutes has passed and it created a lot of things for us. 
section I have the services here I'm interested to see how good it does when it comes to when it comes to building a nice UI in the previous video it did something pretty good okay let's have it like this to see what is doing I will let him cook and I will go in here and if we're going to check the subscriptions you are going to see I have the pro quarterly plan it's 45 bucks and uh, you have the rate limits in in here and, uh, right now for this model is not that big but yeah it's new and we're going to see okay I don't have any other money okay let me close this okay right now it's updating the astro layout and until now I didn't see any errors and it's actually creating a lot of code and it's using astro props for this I'm curious to see if this will work out of the box with everything and yeah it's quite nice to use it also in warp without the AI thing things because it offers an interesting terminal and you have the options to see also the files in here easily you can see the difference and what it's added in the right side so also I've created a video about warp I will let also that in there and how it does when uh, working with AI because also warp has some nice plans but you can deactivate the AI feature and just use it as a terminal if you want it has a nice interface so why not why not using it so right now I think it goes to pages I hope it understands the tailwind for okay so it moves quite fast with this task it's supposed to because it should be faster than the light plan I'm curious to see the design because for coding it does a pretty good job if you think that this has a knowledge cutoff in uh, 2023 so it's not as up to date as Claude, but still managed to do a good work with Astro and Tailwind 4. And I don't have any agents and the file in here. Okay, services page, it's here. And it's pretty big using the button that it created SVGs okay in here it added the component that it created it modified the layout to add the SEO things in here Right now it's creating a contact page. Okay. So you see that you have a lot of files that have been created in six minutes. I'm planning to test the GLM uh, even more. I want to modify the content on some old websites that I have with affiliates to see how well it does. Okay, it moved to the styles, I hope. It will keep the import tailwind CSS in there. Yep, it just added other things. And there are a lot of lines. And then it should just go and update the readme. And then we can see how well it did. 
you can use this model for instance in combination with I don't know, Cloud Sonnet 4.5 and this one to implement things and the other one to plan things and this can be very useful okay it's creating the readme this is the old one let's see what he will do okay it created everything it put in the details in the readme with what it created and right now okay it tries to execute this directly let's wait for him to finish it's also running the build command basically in this way you see if you have any errors okay it sees that it uh, finished successfully and build all the pages so this thing should work right now i'm very curious to see how the ui it will be okay so you have the plan pretty good okay let's run npm run dev and let's open this new tab bam okay so yeah this is the website it looks similar with what CloudSonnet did yep it has some nice animations the button in here has a problem you have these nice things okay okay so it's very similar to what sonnet did and it to build a pretty good ui yeah and svgs again you have some svgs in here this is the svg it looks okay again in here it created some svgs for us not bad okay okay good let's see the services Okay, basically the service, I think it's first page, project, okay, so services and project, it's only one page about, in here you have the about page, again, looks pretty clean and nice, even the fact that you can uh, use this with a fraction of the price of CrowdSonnet, you see that? it created something interesting again the buttons in here have some problems but this can be fixed and yeah i mean it's quite good and you can give it a try you have also their chat in here model that you can chat with but i'm using their api and in case you want to check it out i will like the i will let the link into the description so yeah this is what uh, he did from my point of view it looks nice and their plans are pretty good you think that you can start with only a couple of bucks with three dollars you can start working with it on or you can choose the quarterly for a longer period to take advantage of their price so yeah glm uh, 4.6 looks pretty good it's only a fraction of the sonnet price and uh, thanks for watching and uh, in case you like what you have seen don't forget to subscribe